So this year, we're back on the equity side of the townhouse, and um, I've got the foyer. And ah. being, having a foyer is a great space because everybody has to come through it. Yes. But it's also a challenging space because you've got to keep the traffic flow open. We need to put a place in there where the Kips Bay can sell tickets. So these are some interesting paint finishes that we're considering. Oh, cool. I'm leaning towards using a mica finish. So this is mica flakes, wow. Japanese mica flakes, which are put into a um, clear medium um, and then put on top of the base coat paint finish. And I'm thinking about this beautiful, rich burgundy oh. Bordeaux from yep. Farrow and Ball. Um, it is their color called Brinjal. And so it's going to be this wonderful sea of color and glitter. And then we need a few pieces of furniture. So we're curating um, a selection of items. We have, basically, we have a console table. We have four sconces. Are you going to do a mirror above the, is that a choice? That's, that's, that's a travels? possible. It's a Heather uh -huh. Van der Straten, who is, of course, just one of my favorite, favorite contemporary furniture artisans. Um, it's a contender. It's a contender. And what, what do you, what, what's this, uh, some accessories here? Right, these are um, wonderful ceramic pieces from India Madhavi um, in great colored glazes. And Beautiful. we have a fireplace and we thought maybe one of these interesting um, cylinder planter containers could be on there. Could be there. So this is the art I saw online the other day. It's the perfect color. What's, who's the artist? It's Harry Cushing, and it's actually a diptych. There are two of them that go together. It's extraordinary, so. Uh, the, the reason I love this shop and draw blonde so much is because um, every time I come to this place, uh, it's beautifully curated. It's so easy to shop. I find it terribly inspiring. I don't have to hunt, I don't have to dig. Everything's a treasure. Um, and I'm so um, happy to be able to use many of these pieces in my space. Now I love the fact that you oh, you have a red rum this year. I mean your 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 vibe is red, which I don't think of you, but you're gonna certainly add some blue. Yes, of course. That'll be stunning. Really beautiful. John, tell me about this painting. Well I think it's one of the most amusing dog paintings I've ever seen. It is this dog pr protecting his snacks <laughs> away from this pack of dogs behind him. It's, it's such a subtle work, don't you yeah. think? Well, uh, I just think it's so amusing. Uh, perfect for a dining room. Yeah, perfect for a dining room. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. It's great. great. So we're doing these for sure. Hoping and wishing for this. So you actually have one of the bedrooms, but you're <laughs> making it something else. Yes, we are making our bedroom into sort of a study slash little sitting room. Great. I wanted it to be, first of all, I wanted the flow of the room to work for the house. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I just thought it was a more interesting opportunity to sort of go outside of what would be expected of the space. We all work from home now, so we thought it'd be really nice to sort of create a space that wasn't like the library, that felt like an approachable, interesting, comfortable space. And, uh, you know, it seems like a lot more people are finding these kind of spaces in their houses now. Study in style, you've even given right. it a, a kind of thematic right. name. Exactly. That's the name of our rooms. We found inspirations that we thought were, that would sort of tell our story in terms of playful, purposeful. No, uh, playfully purposeful, playfully which purposeful. is what right. I sort of think it's of It's sort of the idea. Yeah, yeah. And that's sort, I, of, I our, that's sort of our... And elegantly easy. Elegantly this is you, easy, right. You know, subtly sophisticated. Um, these are going to be our curtains, uh, which are things beautiful. really beautiful. They're really kind of sexy and cool, but I don't know. They're they're sort of they're sort of quiet at the they're same time. They're almost like a neutral, also. Yeah, which Ooh, will be beautiful together. with that. I think yes. it's really great. This will be our shear in the window, which will be sort of our our, our kind of Roman sh uh, shade that comes down. Here, this is a light fixture that's you know vintage light fixture, which is going to be great. This is actually the finish on one of our benches, which is I believe over here. So, you know, we are in the thick of it right now with Kips Bay and, you know, we can see the finish line, but we're still on the roller coaster and we're not exactly sure where we're going to get off. <laughs> Q 
here are renderings of your living room for Kips Bay. And this is incredible. Thank you. So this is how it's going to look. We have system. renderings and images of everything. So walk me through. So this is one. Okay. This, this is, is the elevation where the fireplace is. Mm -hmm. And all our elevations are, you know, scaled. So everything is planned out, even though it looks happenstance when it's finished. Um, we did a really great Polidori photo and we did a banquette. So there's a little comfortable area. I walked into this living room and I actually really saw myself living there. Um, it's a beautifully proportioned room. It's what this house is beautiful. This living room is a great proportion, but to me, a living room has to be lived in. So I made a point of making it relaxed, elegant. As if it was yours. Yeah. But um, do you sometimes, when you think of doing show houses, it's sort of a fun way to do an alternate reality for yourself. So well, you this is a room for you. But in this case, it's right. kind of maybe you, yeah. if you lived there. Yeah. You know, no design can happen in a vacuum. You have to have a subject. It's like doing a portrait of someone. Of course. You need some personality. So what I knew I wanted was something that would make this room feel intimate. And so we did the upholstery with the linen, which is this really great sort which of linen script. Which so beautiful. It's wonderful, and it's textural, and it's natural. And then I pulled, because I love the braconnier panel so much, and I, this is actually a vintage one, I chose to bring in the sort of orientalist feel, which is consistent for what, with what I do. And then there's this really great Look at that screen, screen that's God. Japan, that's spectacular. Wow. This is the other, so this is, it's like this. is this. opposite that. It's like my right, house. Right, right, right. If we could oh, cut so these fun. out, it could be a little house. And then this is as you walk in, mm -hmm. but we're going to have these great pieces. Ah, and there's like this. Crazy yes. about that. Great, wonderful artist named Wayne Pate, who does great stuff. That's Donald Robertson. You go right down to the hardware, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. <sighs> Faux bamboo. bamboo. You're such but a we painted a black. Heart. That will be a pair of lampshades, the paisley. I like to play textures. I love the idea of something that you wouldn't expect. Very, very, very few people in the universe, Alessandra, would get that this can all cohabitate really? beautifully. Yes, this and this. I love it. It's so and to fabulous. me, it's so natural. It's I told you themselves. that I could walk into this office never having seen a project of yours before published and I would hire you as my designer just from what you did. And you know what, actually, is this your keychain? Yes. I would hire you. Hey, it's this. coordinated. Look at that. Uh, no, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I would hire you just on your keychain. Even your keychain funny. is chic. Isn't that funny? Because it is about the kids, it's about the 11. Absolutely. At the end of the day, it's about 11,000 kids are reliant on the funds from Kips Bay. We don't like to lose.